what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video it's been almost two days and people are already complaining about the battery life of the ios 18.5 i am seeing a lot of comments from the people they are talking about the battery training and a lot more things well in this video i'm going to talk about this so let's begin at this video now first of all i wanted to say that it's been just two days and ios always take a couple of days to get stable so just wait for one or two more days. Um, I tested out every other beta of iOS 18.5 on my channel. I tested out the beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, beta 4. And I also tested out the RC update. And right now I'm running iOS 18.5 public release. Every other update was really good. Really good in terms of battery life. And even so far things are working really really fine. I am really enjoying the performance. I'm really enjoying the battery life. Before I begin that how you can improve the battery life, how you can fix the battery draining, I want to share the battery stats of my device so you can have the idea. So well if I go over here and share this day, this is the first day when I was using iOS 18.5. As you can see I used around 65% of my battery life. It be higher than the 50%, lower than the 75%, it is between 75 and 50%. So I will consider it as a 65% and for that I got almost 7 hours of screen on time during which I use TikTok a lot, Instagram, Netflix and some other applications. The next day is even surprising but I will talk about that in my 3 day review video that will come tomorrow so make sure to subscribe the channel. So as you can see battery life is great. Maybe there are a few things that you are not doing right. So let's begin. First of all, what you need to do is get, go into the charging and make sure optimized battery charging is turned on. It will help to improve the battery life. It will help to improve the battery health. It is very important to turn on this. If you have this option over here, you can choose 80, 85 or 90. I choose 90%. Sometimes I choose 85 and 80 maybe. But if you don't have this option, choose make sure optimized battery charging is turned on. Now for the battery draining, what well, is the most important thing is you first you need to go to your battery graph and see which app is running in the background for the most of the time. For example, Instagram was active for 14 minutes in the background. TikTok was active for 16 minutes in the background. And just like this, there are other applications like Me Fitness was active in the 11 minute in the background. So these apps that are active in the background are the one that are consuming the battery live. So you need to turn these apps off from the background. So for that go to journal, from here go to background app refresh and from here you can find those apps that are consuming a lot of battery in the background and you can turn them off. For example, um, Mi Fitness, let me go to the Mi Fitness if you're able to find that. Um, I will just turn off this app as you can see so it will not consume my battery life in the background. So this way you can help to improve the a battery draining enhance the battery life. Now here are some other settings that you can do to improve the overall battery performance running iOS 18.5. For example, get into the privacy and security. Go all the way down to the motion and fitness. If you don't care that your phone should not track your fitness, if you don't care about how many steps you are taking, um, you can turn off the fitness tracking. Now, when the fitness tracking is on, it is like tracking your motion in the background for every single minute. So it can, you know, calculate steps and other things. So if you don't care about these things, you can turn this off as it consumes a lot of battery life. Go back from here, go into the analytics and improvements. Make sure to turn this off too. It is not doing any help to you, although it is consuming a lot of battery life. Also go to the top over here go into the tracking turn off this option it will help do a lot to improve the battery life go back go get into the location services and you could customize the location services according to your choice um what i recommend is um never use the option of for example always there is an option of always don't use this option on any app use while using the app or choose never that's it it is going to help you improve the battery life a lot now here are a few other things that can enhance the battery life for example if your phone is getting like giving you a very small 
battery you are really annoyed what you can do is you can go and choose the dark mode from here dark mode help can actually help a lot to save the battery life especially for the iPhones that have OLED pattern so you can choose the dark mode any day also there are some other stuff you can do get into the accessibility from here go to display and text size from here you can turn on the reduced transparency when it is on there will be a very less transparency so it will also help to improve the battery life of your iPhone also if your brightness is really high anywhere you load out the brightness and you think still think it is high you can choose reduce white point reduce white point is also going to help a lot with the battery life so this is another option also make sure that the auto brightness is turned on if it is not on your iPhone will be consuming lot of battery life now these things are really motion now go to uh, motion over here and choose the reduce motion option this will also help to save the battery life a lot now these are some of the settings that you can do to improve the battery life no i think this is really annoying that you need to you know do a lot of these things to get a good battery life but yeah this is how it is um overall for me everything is working really nice i, I showed you the stats things are really really good um you can also wait for the couple of days i hope it will get better also what you can do is just restart your device once after installing the update that also refreshes everything in the background and that can also help a lot to improve the battery life so these are a few things that you can do with your iphone to improve the battery life if you want to like take one step further that is here are some bonus tips and that are try to use good chargers i say this thing in my every other video that try to use good chargers bad chargers or cheap chargers will destroy the battery health of your iphone they will ruin the battery health of your iphone and you will be getting a bad battery life so try to use good chargers um from the companies that are mfi so yeah also what you can do is you can follow 2080 rules so when you ever you are around 20 percent for example right now i am on 25 percent right after this video i'm gonna put this phone on charging you know i can use it until maybe 10 percent or 5 percent but that will affect the battery life of my device i don't want that right so yeah around 20 percent put it on charging around 80 percent just unplug the charger so yeah this is all from this video this is all everything you need to know for the uh, good battery life um for the ios 18.5 if you still have any query let me know the comment section below if you're facing any sort of issue let me know the comment section below i am always here to answer your queries i'm always here to you know solve your battery related problems or any other thing well by tomorrow you will be getting a three-day battery life review so make sure to subscribe for that for that video and i hope to catch you guys in the next one until that take care peace out